Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started using Google Slides. This is the latest installment in my series on Google Workspace for beginners. So if you're new to Google Workspace, this is the video for you. Let's go ahead and get started here. Now, there are three ways that we can access Google Slides. We can access it from Google Drive itself by selecting New and then selecting Slides, and we can create a blank presentation or create from a template. Another option is to open a new tab and type slides.google.com, which will take you to this page where you can see any presentations that you've previously created or have been shared with you by someone else. You can also take a look at all the templates that are available right here as well. Now your third option for accessing Google Slides is to jump right into making a new slide presentation and open up a new tab and just type in slides.new and that will launch you right into a blank presentation where you can pick a different theme if you like or you can close that theme chooser and get right to work on your presentation. So let's call this one sample presentation number 12. Let's give it a title. And I'll put in my name. And let's now write in some speaker notes down here at the bottom of the page. Now, if you need more room for speaker notes, just click and drag on the bottom divider here and you can have more room. And let's just start writing our speaker notes and say, note to yourself, remember to make eye contact with the audience as often as possible. Try not to read off of the slides. And you can change that font size if you want and make it larger so it's a little easier for you to read while you're presenting. And we can make that smaller as well. Now, I'll give you a little tip. One of the things that I do with my students when they're using Google Slides is I have them write out all their speaker notes down here at the bottom and share their slides with me before they present so that if they get a little hung up during their presentation, I can kind of coach them through a little bit with some of their speaker notes that they've shared with me. Now, speaking of sharing, there are a couple of ways that you can share your slides. First of all, let's go to the upper right corner and hit share, and you can invite other people. I'm gonna invite Max, and he can be an editor, or he can be a viewer or a commenter on the slides. Let's make him an editor, and we'll send that little notification to him. We can also share and restrict the access of our editors to say that they cannot change permissions and share with other people. And we can also turn off the option for people to download, print, and copy the slides if we want to as well. I'm gonna leave those options turned back on though. And we can see here, we also have the option for sharing with anybody within my domain. Copy that link, or I can change this link and say that Anybody with the link can view my slides or comment or edit. I would typically just let people view the slides if using that link. Now you can undo that at any time by simply going back in here and changing it back to restricted, only people added, in this case, Max, can access the slides. Now, Let's add some more slides. Right now, our slide presentation is pretty boring with just one slide. So we can add new slides in a couple of ways. The easiest way to remember is just go to slide, new slide, and we have a new slide. Now, we can change the layout. By default, we have these options of title slide, section header, title and body, or we can do a blank slide. If I do a blank slide and I want to put in some text, well, I'll just click on the text box. 
And we'll write in here, this is a neat statue that I found in Jamestown, North Dakota. Now, those of you who have watched my previous video about Google Slides have already seen this image, but I wanna show you how to insert an image. So let's insert an image. We can do it in a couple of ways. We can upload from the computer, search the web. If you have a photograph stored in your Google Drive account, you can pull it from Google Drive. You can upload photographs, or you can even turn on your webcam and take a picture. I'm going to, in this case, upload from my computer where I have some pictures that I want to use, including this one here of Dakota Thunder. Now, Dakota Thunder is right here in my slide. Now, if I want to move that text around, I can still click and drag and move that text. Maybe I'm just going to rename it Dakota Thunder. And down here in the speaker notes, I might write in the statue weighs 60 tons. Now, I want to edit this image that I have here on my slot. So to do that, we have a few different options we can pick from. Once I've clicked on the image, we will see the option for borders. And I can change that border to make it a nice orange color and make it dotted or dashed or solid. I'm going to make that one solid. I like the solid color. And I'm going to change the color again. And I'm going to make that border a little thicker. And so I have that option. Now, if I click on this one more time, I will also have the option to crop the image. And I can just click and drag to crop the image to limit it to just the part that I want. Then hit enter and I've now cropped it. Now from here, I can also go in and add some shapes to the border. So if I want to round it off, maybe I'll just select rounded rectangle and now it's a rounded image in my Google slide. Let's click on that one more time. Let's go into Format Options. And we'll see over here all of our choices for size and rotation. If I want to flip it around, I can flip it around. If I want to adjust the position, I can do it there. I can use these color filters if I like. We can adjust the transparency. We can even have a little drop shadow. We want to add that as well. I'll add that little drop shadow and move that at a little bit of an angle and change that drop shadow angle, drop shadow to be orange or any other color that I like. And we can even blur it around the edges if we like as well. And finally, we can even reflect the image, but in this case, I don't really want to use that feature. So now let's add another slide. And on my next slide, let's add a new one here. I want to insert a video. And we have a couple of ways to insert videos, but the easiest way is to just go up to insert, and we want to insert a video. And there's an integrated YouTube search. So if I am looking for a video about, let's say, Dakota Thunder, Maybe I'll find that video right there that'll play back via YouTube. And I can select that one. And we can click and drag to make it larger and center it up on the screen. One of the things that I like to do is change the background color of the slide that I have my video on. And so I'm going to change the background here to a color of black so it just blends right in or i might want to use a nice dark blue it's like done and now i have that video now i can control some of the playback of this video as well i can click on the image click on the 
frame of the video. And I can say, well, I want it to start at 15 seconds and I want it to end at two minutes and 10 seconds. So I only want to play a little bit of the video there. And by default, we'll have the option for it to play back on click. We can also have it play automatically as soon as this slide is open, or we can play manually by clicking on the play button itself. I'm going to leave it as play on click for now. You'll see here, you can also mute the audio. So if you don't want to have the audio play and you want to just show the visual aspect, well, you can select mute audio and now the video will just play without any of the audio playback with it. And you can also see here, we have our size and rotation, our positions, and again, you can do a drop shadow if you like as well. Now I'm gonna add a new slide and here's another way to add a new slide. Simply right click on any of your slides in the navigator on the left-hand side and select new slide. And now we have a new slide. Let's insert a video once again. And instead of using YouTube search this time, this time I'm going to use a video that I have stored in my Google Drive. Those of you who watched the first video in this series may remember that you can upload anything you want into your Google Drive, including videos. Now, if you didn't see that video about how to upload things to Google Drive, go back and watch the previous video in this series. I have this video stored in my Google Drive on the basics of creating Google Documents. I'm going to select that. And that's going to insert this into my slide. Now, you'll notice when I did that, I was given this little notification pop-up. And I'm going to say, this person who I've shared the slides with will now have access to the video as well. So we're going to share that so that, that person has access to the video. Now we're going to see this video right here and we can see it play back. We'll have to refresh it here in just a moment and it'll play back. So now my video is loaded and ready for playback. And we'll see our play button is right there in that slide. Now, if I wanna remove it, just click on it, hit the delete button and that video is gone. While I'm here, let's also take a look at inserting audio. Now to insert audio, this is a little tricky because if I click on audio here, it's going to only look in my Google Drive. And right now I don't have any audio in my Google Drive. So I'm going to need to upload that MP3 file that I want to play back into my Google Drive and then insert it in here. So let's take a look at how to do that. So I want to get that audio into my Google Drive and I'm just going to go back in my drive, select a new file upload. And I have some audio on my desktop that I want to use. There's my little MP3 recording and it's going to upload. And once it's uploaded, then I'll be able to add it into my slide. And the way to do that is to go to insert audio. And there it is. There's my audio file. And again, I'm going to get this little notification that says someone else needs to access the file. And I'm going to say, yes, Max, who's my collaborator on this presentation, can also access the file. Now we'll see there, there's a little playback button in our slide and we can have it playback automatically or on click. I'm gonna say automatically. We can adjust the volume for this. We can hide the icon when presenting. We can loop the audio so it keeps playing in the background as long as that slide is on. And we can say stop on slide change. So as soon as I advance, the audio stops as well. Now you can also adjust the color and position of this little icon, but for now, we're gonna leave it as is. Next, let's take a look at how to actually present with Google Slides. 
So let's go ahead and present our Google Slides. And to do so, we can just hit the Start Presentation button in the upper right-hand corner. But we also have the option for Presenter View, which will give us our speaker notes here and our slides on the same screen. Or we can close that little tab. But you'll see as I present, I can just click through and I'll have my slides. And on this next one, when I tab across, we'll have our blank slide. I'm going to have my audio play in the background. Now, in this case, I have my audio turned off, so you're not actually hearing it play back. But you can see up there, Chrome is indicating that my audio is playing back. Now, I'm going to tab back to the beginning of my presentation here. And while I'm in the presentation, I'm going to show you this little options menu. So open that up. And anytime I open up that menu, we can see open speaker notes. We can see a laser pointer. If I want to highlight things on my screen, I can use that. I can turn that off. And we can have an autoplay of our slides. We also have our captions option. I'm going to turn on captions. And now Google Slides will caption everything that I say during the presentation. Again, just as long as I have my microphone turned on, Google Slides will caption this for me. Now, when I'm done presenting, all I have to do is click on this little button here and hit Stop Presenting. We're back into our slide editor. Now, the very last thing I want to show you here in the basics of Google Slides is in the File menu. In your File menu, you have a few helpful options particularly for those who are new to using Google Slides. Some of you might want that comfort factor of going back to PowerPoint at some point. So you can go to File, Download, and Export your presentation as a PowerPoint file. It's important to note that if you do that, any videos you've inserted and audio that you've inserted will probably not work correctly. But you do have that option. You also have the option there to export your presentation as a PDF. And finally, you have the option to publish your slides to the web. When you hit publish to the web, this creates essentially a simple website that features just your slides. This link here, I can share that with anybody. And now that person will be able to view my slides, even if they don't have a Google account. And you can also unpublish that at any time by simply hitting stop publishing. So those are the basics for getting started using Google Slides. Down below in the description of this video, I have links to lots of additional tutorials on how to use the advanced features of Google Slides. And finally, as always, Check out freetechforteachers.com for more tips and tricks like this, or subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified 